if you told a kid from Compton when he's five years old, you know, and, and there's crackheads down the street, there's drug addicts everywhere, there's crime, that he would be a multimillionaire and he'd go to Stanford University, I mean, he'd be crazy not to call you crazy. But it happened. When I was growing up, my parents didn't really give that much advice about money, honestly, because we didn't have a ton. The only way that we're gonna attend college is if we got some kind of scholarship, and they, they made that apparent really early. My parents didn't go to college. They knew that that was the best track to take to, to be successful in this world. You know, if I said I wanted to be an NFL player, they were like, well, if you wanna get there, then these are steps. You better work hard. You better be better than everyone else. Get your grades first, because sports was secondary. I wanted to be a ball player. That was always a dream. When I figured out they'd pay you a lot of money to play the game, I mean, that was just kind of a plus. When I got my signing bonus deposited into my checking account, I was in a negative, and the check was, I think, $200,000. It's challenging to try to grasp the concept of money that quickly and say, hey, I'm not going to blow this money frivolously. I'm going to invest it correctly. I'm going to save it. That's the most difficult part of professional sports in general. Majority of these kids come from impoverished backgrounds. Money management and investing weren't first nature. You know, it wasn't something their parents taught them. It wasn't something their parents knew. So I think colleges need to teach the basics, teach them how credit works, how to pay bills. I mean, you get out of college, sometimes you don't even know how to pay rent. You don't even know how to write a check. I didn't have that kind of education available to me at the time. I usually try to save 60% of my money and then 40% you can spend as you please. Any investments that I go into are off my recommendation, off research that I did. So if it works out, I feel great. If it doesn't, I I'll still feel great. There are a lot, a lot of naysayers. Only one in you know a million people make it to the NFL. Those kind of stats didn't matter. I mean, one in a million, I kind of felt like I was a one in a trillion kind of guy. I think everybody should look at themselves as capable of conquering every dream and aspiration that you have. Because if you're not going to believe in, why would anybody else believe it?